I want to talk about aspiration, what it is, should you do it, and why I do it. And the reason I do it is because many moons ago, when I used to, well, when I'd done a few steroid cycles, I was playing around with site injection spots, um, and I was just sat on the toilet one day in my dad's house, uh, being all secretive because I was on steroids and I didn't want anyone to know, what well, any of my family to know. And I was, I thought, sod it, I'm going to go straight into my leg. So I've gone straight into my leg like that. And with that, my legs just flew up in the air. And for some reason, I just thought, oh yeah, that was normal. I'll just keep injecting them. So I started injecting. As soon as I've done that, I felt all giddy and weird. And I honestly nearly faint. I nearly fainted. And there was blood everywhere. So I obviously hit an artery or a blood vessel. Um, it was really scary. <laughs> and there was blood everywhere. I was I very nearly passed out, and I was I was saying to myself, "Don't pass out now because there's blood everywhere." He's gonna think I'm a heroin addict. He probably didn't even know what steroids are. If he finds me let down in this toilet with a syringe next to my face, he's gonna think I'm a junkie. And I was I was a steroid junkie at the time. Well, not really. I only done a couple of steroid cycles, but that is why I always aspirate. Um, doctors these days they probably don't even tell you to aspirate. It seems like that way in America anyway. I don't think they do in England either, really. Um, but that, that's why I always aspirate. Um, but what is aspiration? Aspiration is drawing air into the syringe or needle. Should you aspirate? It's up to you. I always aspirate because of that reason. So when you put your needle into a spot, I'm just using my form, never inject into the form. You go in and then you pull back slightly on a syringe which is aspiration. So once you've aspirated, you should get a tiny little air bubble go into the syringe. If you see an air bubble, that's fine, you're good to go. Start to inject. If you pour a bit of blood into the syringe, that is when you walk, you pull the syringe straight out, change the needle, take that needle off, bin it in a sharp spin, put a fresh needle on and stick it, not in the same spot, same area, but just move it slightly because you've obviously gone in something in which you shouldn't have gone into. Don't worry if there's a bit of blood in there. Don't worry if there's a bit of blood. As long as you've got a fresh needle on there, you're good to go back in the same sort of area. Now, YouTube has deleted a couple of my videos, my injecting videos, probably because I didn't have the correct disclaimers on there. But I've got to tell you that I'm not a doctor or a healthcare professional, but I am on testosterone replacement therapy. It's prescribed. Um, I'm not giving advice. I'm documenting my experiences. So, and that is my experience with this. Now it takes not even a millisecond to aspirate. So when I get people moaning at me or saying, oh, why'd you aspirate? People don't aspirate anymore, blah, blah, blah. And I know I'm using a small needle. So the likeliness of me in anything remotely dangerous is dramatically decreased. I'm always gonna aspirate because of that traumatic experience I had years and years and years ago. And for the sake of half a millisecond of doing that, just pulling that out slightly and going, oh, there's an air bubble. Fine, I'm good to go. That millisecond could save you. Oh, it could be, I don't know, it could be a life or death experience. I don't know. I'm never going to experiment enough to push all that into me arteries. But if you did, you're going to probably going to think like what I normally did. You're going to end up in a pool of blood and your family is your family's going to find you on the floor with blood and a needle. And if they didn't know what testosterone replacement therapy is, or steroids, they're gonna think you're a junkie and they're gonna, they're gonna think you've just injected heroin into your body and you can explain to them that it's not heroin. And, <laughs> so, now I dramatize that, but it could happen. It nearly happened to me. I didn't want it to happen to you. So for the sake of a milliseconds, just aspirate, use a smaller needle, bigger needles right there, come on, come on. Stop using massive needles. We're in 2021 now. Carpenters don't use a hammer if they need to. They use a nail gun. Stop using outdated tools. Use a small needle. Um, and I'm always going to aspirate. But it's up to you. I'm always going to aspirate and use small needles. I get no pip. And I'm never going to end up in a pool of blood looking like a smackhead on the floor. Up to you what you do.